Hi and welcome back to Moy's Woodshop. I was in the shop today and I realized I'm almost out of iron acetate. I, there's a couple of projects that I'm working on and I need to ebonize the wood to give it that old weathered look. So since I had to make some I figured hey why not make a quick video. Now I'm sure there's a lot of you that are familiar with it but if you're not and if you'd like to see how I do it stick around. I'm by no means an expert but I have used it a couple of times and I'll just go through the process of how I make it. Now in front of me here, you'll need a distilled white vinegar, cheap kind, no need to get crazy. Uh, steel wool, a glass jar, since there is gonna be a chemical reaction, I prefer a glass jar. The main thing is do not use a lid, because there's gases in there, they're gonna be uh, coming out, so no, no lid on it. So I'm gonna start by taking my vinegar, and pouring it in the mason jar. I want to make the most I can in this jar, but I don't have to fill it to the top. I do want to get some of the steel wool inside the jar. I'm going to go about three quarters of the way up. Now, I usually break up the steel wool for this, for this part of the process. I usually put gloves on. I don't want to get any little cuts. The reason why you break it up is just to speed up the process. You could throw the whole thing in there like this, but I try to break it up a little bit. Just get it all in there. And that's about it. If I need to add more, I could always add more later. I'm just gonna push it down to the bottom. Maybe add a little bit more, a little bit more vinegar. Now as far as the, the lid goes, like I said, you don't want to use a lid. What I've got here is just a latex glove. The cuts that I made in the glove are going to allow the gases to expand and escape out of this jar. If you were to cover it and put a lid on it, the gases have nowhere to go. At this point, you probably want to take this stuff outside. It really stinks. I'm leaving it in my shop so I could show you guys what's going on right now. The vinegar is actually breaking down that steel wool and you can see the gases coming up rising to the top. Um, usually a couple hours you start to see the difference. You want to leave it outside until it's completely broken down. Okay so it's been seven days. Uh, this has been outside and you can see it's changed different colors. Some of it has come down and run down the sides. It's come out of the holes in the glove. Put a coffee filter on here. Pour a little bit inside. Once this is all strained out, I'm just going to take the coffee filter off. Now I'll just put a plastic bag over the mason jar. And this is going to be my concentrated stuff that I'm going to keep. I'm going to use that same rubber band. And I'm just going to show you what it does to the different kinds of woods. I'm just going to let this dry for a second. Okay, I know I said a second, but it's actually been a couple of minutes. It's dark. On the pine, it's kind of got some color to it. Not too bad. This is the Earl Grey tea. And I'm going to let that dry for a couple of minutes. Okay, the Earl Grey tea is dry now. I'm just going to add some water to my concentrated iron acetate. Shake it up. Now I'm going to put the iron acetate on there. You'll be able to see a difference. So here's the difference on the pine. The left side is with Earl Grey tea and then the iron acetate. This is the iron acetate by itself. I like this color better. A lot more gray on there than there is on this side. On the oak, not too much difference. It's a little bit darker, but not too much of a difference. On the cedar, same thing. What I have here is food coloring. Just plain old food coloring. 
Just drop a little bit in there. Mix it up. I'm just going to put some teak oil and spar urethane mixed, just so you can see what the finished product is going to look like. Well, that's all there is to it. It's very cost effective, very simple to make. I only spent two dollars on this batch, a dollar for the vinegar and a dollar for the steel wool. The reason why I use so much steel wool on this batch is because I wanted to concentrate it. That way I could just water it down and use it as I go. Uh, if you wanted to make some relatively quickly, you could obviously just reduce the amount of uh, steel wool and add you know, more vinegar. Uh, you could also use nails in there. Whatever that's metal and it's going to rust, it'll work fine. This batch took about seven days to get uh, completely reduced to nothing. Uh, Another cool way of, of making this work is you could add food coloring. You could add any color you want. You could come up with some really cool colors. Um, the reason why there was not a lot of change in the oak or the cedar is because they already have tannins in the wood. So by adding that Earl Grey tea, you're not really doing anything. Well, that's all I have for you guys. If you found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, correct me down below if you... If you have any uh, corrections, I, I'm not an expert, but this is just the way I've been doing it for a while and it works for me. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, please like, subscribe, share the video, and we'll see you on the next one.